mysteries of science and nature come to light at Ripley's Believe It or Not. The Ripley's has um, some of the stuff they're always famous for, which are things like shrunken heads and odd and strange people. We have some great interactives. We have a, a simulated uh, tornado where you get to experience what a Texas tornado would be like. Everyone knows that tornadoes are part of Texas lore, with its unique position between the Rockies and the High Plains and the warm and humid Gulf of Mexico, every spring Texas becomes a battleground for this fierce force of nature. So come here to the Tornado Alley exhibit and see a little bit about Texas tornadoes like you've never seen them. As you can see, damage from a tornado in Texas can be catastrophic. Chickens in glass jars, telephone poles down, people never even woke up during this thing. It's crazy! Yeah, uh, well you go through this room to experience the wind, but then there's an aftermath room that um, depicts what it would be like after the tornado has passed, and it has some Interesting, believe it or not, there's a baby that was picked up in a tornado and landed in a tree unharmed, and um, a rooster that was supposedly was sucked inside of a glass jar. I think that's the one that I have the most incredible, believe it or not, that that could really happen, so. At this museum, seeing may or may not be believing, and it's all thanks to one man. So Robert Ripley, actually was a semi-pro baseball player, but he wrote a sports feature about, believe it or not, sports things. And so with his wealth, he loved to travel, and he basically traveled the world buying artifacts, odd and unusual things. He bought so much stuff that literally it fills now 25 museums around the world. And there's still a warehouse in, in Orlando, Florida, that has the stuff that's not on display. Pieces in Ripley's collection range from the scientific to the downright silly. This so-called mermaid was proven to be a fake. However, this fossilized whale vertebrae helps illustrate how parts of North America were once underwater. Robert Ripley's hunt for the bizarre may be over, but the search for new exhibit pieces never ends. They today still buy uh, odd and unusual items, and so uh, my phone is always ringing. Somebody that has some unusual barnyard animal that was born with, you know, two head or five legs or whatever, and we get a lot of people that can do um, strange things, perform incredible acts with their bodies, so. It's never a dull moment here at the office. Believe it or not.